Earlier this year, our brand Weston made this massive pocket knife, and the internet demanded that we get it into the hands of the world's biggest celebrity. Not big as in most famous, but big as in big. After stopping at nothing to achieve this feat, our comments were flooded with more people saying that we should give a tiny pocket knife to a tinier celebrity, Hasbulla. Fortunately, our brand Wesson kind of specializes in smaller pocket knives. And this knife we made, the Wesson Microblade, was basically born to be handed with someone with tiny enough hands to properly wield it. But tracking down a guy like Hasbulla is no easy task. It didn't matter how many videos we made or how many views our videos got, Hasbulla never reached out to us. So it seemed like there was only one course of action left, and that was tracking down Hasbulla in person. But where do you even start with something like that? Well, everything changed when this random YouTuber commented on one of our videos saying that he knew that Hasbulla was in Dubai and he knew exactly where he would be the upcoming weekend. Now, we had no way to prove that this guy knew what he was talking about, but we did see Hasbulla was in Dubai, and this guy's word was better than anything else we dug up so far. However, even if we were to meet, I had no idea how much English Hasbulla actually understood, so we threw together a video explaining the situation and hired a guy on Fiverr to translate our script and do a voiceover in Russian. Hasbulla, мы создали особый карманный нож специально для вас. Still, I unfortunately wasn't able to make the journey on such short notice, and everyone in our office was tied up as well. So I called our intern to see if he could fly to Dubai last minute on our behalf. All right, we need you to fly to Dubai for two days and meet Hasbulla. And we need you to go, connect with him, and get us a meeting. Will you accept? Yeah, yeah, of course. Luckily, he was free as a bird. So we rush printed some merch for him to wear on his journey and sent him out from our office literally the next morning. We stayed in constant contact throughout his journey, and the intern landed in Dubai mere hours before Hasbulla was apparently hanging out in the location our contact informed us of. To be honest with you, the whole thing seemed a bit far-fetched. How would Hasbulla react to being headhunted? Would he be offended that we wanted to hand him a tiny knife? Would he even resort to violence? Ah, I brushed this all under the rug because I realized interns are replaceable, and at least it wasn't me making first contact. The intern perused Dubai for a bit, then headed to the outskirts of town to try his luck. Everything wrote on Hasbulla just actually showing up, and unfortunately it looked like our contact was probably wrong. The intern sat there for hours, and Hasbulla never showed up at the location. He's calling, he's calling. He's calling. You, you rolling? Is the camera on? Is the yeah, camera on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, alright, alright. It's a big moment. All right. What's up? How's it going? Yeah, I don't know about this really. He hasn't shown up yet. How long have you been there for? I don't know, a couple of hours now. I mean, it's been a while. Oh, man. And there's like nothing, like no word if Hasbro was actually going to show up or not. Have you talked to anyone, like security or anyone? No, nobody. Nobody even wants to tell me when he's coming or anything. Oh, gosh I don't know if darn he's it. even showing up, to be honest. All right, well, man, just stand the line. You stick around for a little bit more and let's just hope for the best. But as it seemed, all hope was lost. A Rolls Royce rounded the corner of the building across the street, and a ton of security was following after the vehicle. After the car parked and cleared out, the unthinkable happened. Hasbulla actually showed up, and he brought one heck of a posse with him. We couldn't believe it. Contact needed to be made ASAP, or our opportunity just might slip. The intern made his way as close to Hasbulla as he could without getting taken down by his security detail. And he was able to chat with one of Hasbulla's team members, telling him of her intentions to make contact and give Hasbulla the gift of a lifetime. A gift that millions of people were waiting to see the little legend hold in his adequately sized hands. Our team in Sweden was on their toes. Everything rode on this one man. Luckily, not much time passed before our contact and Hasbulla's team came back to the intern. He said Hasbulla agreed to hear what we had to say. So the intern got up on stage in front of the gathered crowd and cautiously showed Hasbulla the video we made explaining the situation. Hasbulla's translator said Hasbulla wanted to hold the knife right then and right there. And our stomachs dropped because we didn't send the intern with a knife. But fortunately, our intern is a good intern and he packed an extra microblade in his backpack, and the knife was passed into those hands we'd been longing for for so long. 
Oh, he's calling right now. He's calling right now. Oh my gosh. This is the moment. Oh shoot. He's calling. He's calling. Right here. <laughs> As Bola began to open the box, and across the world, our hearts were racing. The question the world had been wondering was answered in this moment, once and for all. The Wesson Microblade does look normal in the legendary hands of Hasbro. In that one moment, history was made. The crowd went wild, and so did we. Hasbro addressed the room shortly after, and we don't speak Russian, so we're not exactly sure what he said, but from our understanding, we think it was something along the lines of this. The Wesson Microblade is a pocket knife that everybody should be proud to carry. No matter if you're shack sized, has bulla sized, or a little bit something in between. It's a knife that's easy to adapt to every lifestyle. A blade that those around you will covet until they have one themselves. And the first pocket knife to prove that size doesn't matter.